This article will walk you through the process of creating an entity relationship diagram, often known as an ERD, for the project entitled Waste Management with Reward System. Please watch the video for a more in-depth demonstration. The capstone project entitled Waste Management with Reward System purpose is to develop a waste management system that encourages people to recycle more. The system will include a rewards program in which people can earn points for recycling. These points can be redeemed for rewards such as discounts at local businesses or gift cards. The system will work as follows. 1. People will earn points for recycling. 2. People can use their points to redeem rewards. 3. The system will help motivate people to recycle more by providing them with rewards for doing so. The benefits of this system are that it will increase the amount of recycling done in society, it will be cost-effective, and it will be easy to use. One of the biggest challenges with this system will be motivating people to recycle more. It may be difficult for people to earn points for recycling if they do not think that it is worth it. The rewards program could help to motivate people by offering them a discount on their purchases or a gift card. There are three basic rules in creating the ER diagram. First step is to identify all the entities. Second step is to identify the relationship between entities and lastly, the third step is to add meaningful attributes to our entities. Step 1. Identify the entities. Entity is represented by the rectangle shape. The entity will be our database table of waste management with reward system later on. In the Waste Management with Reward system we have the following entities. User User Group Member Junk Shop Garbage Type Collection Record The Waste Management with Reward system, according to our model, consists of six components or entities, which are mentioned above. The tables that make up our database tables, which we will design and develop as we design and construct the waste management with reward system database schema, will be the components that make up these pieces. To explain how the entire system works, we'll draw a rectangle with the waste management with reward system components within. The different entities and items that make up the waste management with reward system are depicted in the diagram below. Step 2. Establish Relationships Relationship is represented by diamond shape. This will determine the relationships among entities. This is usually in a form of primary key to foreign key connection. After we have specified our entities, it is time now to connect or establish a relationship among the entities. User account belongs only to one, one, user group or category, one to one relationship. User can process multiple transactions on the collection and record keeping of the information submitted by the members. These are the list of recyclable materials to be turned over to the junk shop, one to many relationship. List of garbage are group according to their type and is being included or encoded in the collection record, one to many relationship. A member of the project can encode the list of garbage or recyclable materials as indicated in the system and turn over it to the nearest junk shop to claim their rewards one-to-many relationship. The junk shop can keep track of the records through the collection record module of the project, one-to-many relationship. Step 3. Add attributes attribute is represented by the oval shape. This will be the columns or fields of each table in the online food ordering system. The last part of the ERD process is to add attributes to our entities. User entity has the following attributes user underscore id dash primary key represented with underline username password avatar full name contact email user category id dash foreign key status user group entity has the following attributes user group id group name description allow add allow edit allow delete allow print allow import allow export member entity has the following attributes member id dash primary key represented with underline last name first name middle name gender age contact email address profile picture username password account status junk shop entity has the following attributes shop id dash primary key represented with underline shop name address contact email address google map location garbage type entity has the following attributes 
Type ID dash primary key represented with underline name description reward collection record entity has the following attributes. Record ID dash primary key represented with underline member ID. Dash foreign key shop ID dash foreign key type ID dash foreign key quantity unit total amount date processed by user underscore id foreign key. Waste management is critical since it aids in the preservation of a clean and safe environment. People will be rewarded for their efforts, so introducing a waste management with reward system will help to enhance overall waste management practices. This will inspire individuals to be more environmentally conscious and recycle more. People will be rewarded for their efforts, and the environment will be cleaner and safer as a result. In order to improve overall waste management practices, a waste management with reward system is very necessary and should be adopted. Entity Relationship Diagram, ERD, is a graphical representation of entities and their relationships. ERD is used in software development to model the data structures of a system. Entity Relationship Diagram is used to 1. Model the data structures of a system. 2. Represent the relationships between entities. 3. Aid in the design and maintenance of a system. 4. Define the problem domain for a system. 5. Compare different models of a system. ERD is used to model the data structures of a system by specifying how the entities are related to each other and what data they contain. ERD can also be used to represent the relationships between entities. This information can be used to help design and maintain a system. Lastly, ERD can be used to define the problem domain for a system. By doing this, it is easier for developers to understand the structure of the data and how it relates to other parts of the system. Thank you for watching. For more free capstone project ideas and resources, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive free updates on our channel. You may also reach us on our Facebook page and website.